Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Clean Slate Kate. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. So I had a different video planned for today, but with the way shipping is, things got a little delayed and I can't do the haul that I was going to share with you guys. So I did um, a Sephora order the other day and I actually got something for my mother-in-law, but I had grabbed one of the samples of here. So this is the Lawless Woke Up Like This foundation. Um, so I'm going to be trying this for the first time today. This brand is a clean at Sephora brand. So um, I've never been overly drawn to this brand for some reason, but I'm gonna give this a go and see how I feel. Um, there's three shades here. I'm gonna go with Kalahari because it's gonna be the lightest. And it is a light with neutral undertones, so I'm hoping that works. I'm usually more of like a fair light with neutral undertones, so we'll see. But I do have a little bit of color right now from summer, so we might be able to make this work. give this a go. So I've already done my skincare. I used my regular beauty counter skincare. So I'm going to just clip my hair back. So I'm going to go in first with my Kosas Revealer Concealer. Because this foundation is a more full coverage, I'm going to use this one under my eyes today. I often use my RMS uncover up under there just because I find it gives a really nice natural finish but I feel like I need a bit more coverage under the eye area with concealer if I'm going to be using a really full coverage foundation I'm gonna try and remember to do a check-in this evening before I remove my makeup, just so you guys can see how the Lawless foundation wore, and I'll kind of give you like an end of day how I feel about it. I really don't think I'm gonna get more than one use out of this sample, so this is gonna be like a first impressions kind of review. All right, so we're gonna go in now with this shade Kalahari yeah so the little sample like there's so little in there but hopefully so while I apply this foundation, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit more about it so it comes in 20 shades it's a medium to full coverage and it's going to have a natural finish it is part of the clean at sephora lineup and if you want to know more about their uh clean at sephora products you can go online and you can see all the ingredients that they're formulated without uh, this foundation is also cruelty free non-comedogenic silicone free perfume free and non-toxic okay i'm gonna go in with um my airbrush foundation brush from Sephora. This color seems to be working for me right now. I hope it doesn't oxidize though. I don't know why I have this feeling that it's going to. We'll see as the day goes on. I have some, I have to go do groceries today. So I'm gonna look really glamorous going to the grocery store in my full coverage foundation, but. So I'm blending out first with a brush. Okay, maybe this is enough foundation in, in the sample. Like, I guess because it's so full coverage, you need like a really tiny amount. Like if I'd put on more than this, I probably struggling to get it all blended. The shades may be a tiny bit warm for me. Like I said, I'm usually a fair light neutral, so this one is probably, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about the shade yet. I'm gonna blend in with my beauty blender now though. Oh my gosh, why do I always call it a beauty blender? It's just a uh, like a knockoff blending sponge, but I do wet them. I 
get them on Amazon, so I can link them for you guys if you're interested. So I'm not hating the finish on this. I actually quite like, this is, I feel like I like it more than I thought it was going to. We'll see how it wears though. That's the big test when it comes to full coverage because I find a lot of the time, like throughout the day, they kind of go a little blotchy on me. So we'll see. Okay, Lawless, I've been wrong about you. Maybe I should try some other stuff from them. Let me know, actually, if you've tried anything, uh, let me know in the comments below what you've tried and what your thoughts were. I know they don't have a really large line, but this is really quite nice for like a more glamorous look. I'm gonna go in and just conceal a few, a few blemishes. It's settled into my rosacea a little bit, but I've said this before, I find all foundations really do that in that area. The skin is extremely textured there, so. All right, I'm gonna go in next with my Beauty Counter, um, what's it called, the Mattifying Powder. I got this not long ago, and I have been absolutely loving it. It is so good. I thought I'd use this one today instead of the RMS Beauty one that I have because sometimes I find the RMS Beauty one can cling to dry spots and I just wanted to give this foundation like a test without that being an issue. And this one from Beauty Counter doesn't do that at all. Okay, so today I'm going to use the RMS uh, Sensual Skin Trio for my bronzer and my highlighter. I'm undecided about one, whether I want to use the blush in this palette. I guess I could. I'll just use all of them. It's not my favorite blush color. I find it a tiny bit bright. I'll just go light. I always sweep my bronzer like way back into my hair and it just gives a much more natural look so there's no like white line where your hair starts. bronzer in this palette, sorry, is called the Madeira Bronzer, and you can buy them all separately. And then the blush is called Demir. I find it bright, but I am wearing a really springy, kind of bright, floral top today, so it'll tie in. Definitely gonna go over with the, the blending sponge though. So I'm gonna go in um, with my Touch Up Concealer Pen from Beauty Counter and I'm just going to apply this on my lids as a primer. So I think I'm gonna go in today with the uh, Warm Nude Palette from Elia. I'm gonna do a very simple 
look on my eyes. When it's hot and humid like it is today, I don't love wearing a ton of eye makeup. So I'm gonna first dip into Grace. Yeah, Grace, so it's this shade here. This shade which is called Unite and I'm gonna blend that into this, the crease but I'm gonna bring some down onto the lid as well that I put on my cheeks. I'm gonna just sweep that onto the lid as well just to bring in a bit of that color. I find doing this kind of makes your look a little bit more cohesive when you have a bolder color on the cheek. which is this really shimmery shade here and I'm actually gonna put that on my finger and I'm just gonna put that I'm gonna press it onto the lid So I'm going to get my brows on and put on a bit of mascara and a lip and I will be right back. All right guys, I am back. I finished the rest of my makeup. So I'm just gonna show you what I used quickly. I used, like always, my Color Define Brow Pencil in the shade Dark from Beauty Counter and the Beauty Counter Brow Gel also in the shade Dark. I'm still finishing up my Tarte. Lights, camera, splashes, lights, camera, lashes. Sorry, this one's not waterproof. Um, so finishing that up. And I used for my lips the Mineral Fusion Lip Liner in the shade Elegant. It's my favorite color. It's just like the perfect shade for my lips. So you'll notice I use it all the time. And then my favorite lip gloss of probably of all time. I love this shade, it's Bare Shimmer from Beauty Counter. So yeah, I'm going to insert now just my little check-in that I'm gonna do this evening before I take the foundation or like all of my makeup off. Hey guys, so we're at the end of my day. I have been wearing this foundation. It is seven o'clock and I've been wearing it Hello since about, it was around 10 a.m. when I put it on. I'm gonna get closer here so you guys can see. I'm a little bit shiny, but I have oily skin, so that's really typical for me. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with it. Uh, for a full coverage, it wore off, or it like wore down nicely. It didn't get overly patchy. Um, when I checked in around, it was around one o'clock. I noticed like around my nose, like and here where I have slightly larger pores, it hadn't settled into the pores, but it was kind of sitting on the surface of the pores. So yeah, like um, I'm just not used to wearing a full coverage foundation anymore. I really do prefer a like light tinted moisturizer or a lighter medium coverage um, on days where I want a little bit more coverage. But yeah, for full coverage, like I'm pretty impressed actually. I, it exceeded my expectations, let's just say that. I don't know if I would go out and purchase it, but maybe in the future if I'm looking for a really full coverage foundation for like a special event or something like that, I would possibly go for this one. But yeah, I had a nice natural finish to it. 
<laughs> making a noise in the background. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. The color worked out well, actually. I just wanted to say that. The color, it didn't oxidize as the day went on, which was nice because I do find that happens for me a lot because I'm so oily. But yeah, I'm gonna go wash my face because I'm feeling like I need to go do that now. Um, especially when I'm wearing like a full face of foundation, I just, I like to remove it at night. Like it's just such a great feeling. So I'm gonna go do that. So let me know if you guys liked this kind of video, just trying out a sample. Um, I find it a little bit less wasteful than buying full size products and then not liking them and not using them up. So um, after working in the cosmetic industry for such a long time, I just, I see how much waste there is in this industry and I really don't like it and I'm trying to do better and I'm trying to finish up products. So I really actually enjoy doing this style of video and I might try and get my hands on some more samples to try out on my channel for you guys. And yeah, so if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.